Oh, Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. On the eve of the budget, I wish we had a Labor government, and, and next budget we will, where we will be looking at opportunity for all New Zealanders, where a budget that will ensure that all New Zealanders can participate to their full potential. But that isn't what New Zealand looks like at the moment. On any measure, inequality is increasing under this national government. And I find it fascinating to see how sensitive the other side are on this issue, because they know it to be true. And in question time today, we saw them all ducking and diving. They don't believe that figure, and they don't agree with that figure. I mean, even you know, entirely reputable sources, and they don't agree with those figures. Well, not only are they, are they out of touch, they're actually trying to hide the facts. And so. I just want to note that on many reputable figures, including um, on OECD measures, the evidence is quite clear. New Zealand has high income inequality. And in fact, um, Bill English seemed to say it as a matter of some pride that even though we are one of the worst for inequality in the OECD, we're stable. We're stable at that position. Well, hello, that is not good enough. We want to do much, much better. And we want New Zealand to go back to being a more equal country, a country where every New Zealander can get ahead, where every child has opportunity. So the Prime Minister doesn't even agree with um, figures confirmed by Treasury, about 285,000 New Zealand children living in poverty, which is actually 45,000 more than when they took office. And of course the Salvation Army scored them a D on that particular measure, a D. So those figures are there for everyone to see, but I want to just talk about Auckland. I'm a proud Aucklander, I'm based in the Munga Care Care electorate, and we've seen reports now of under National there are two Aucklands. Um, in fact, the New Zealand Herald talked about A Tale of Two Cities, not uh, Charles Dickens' book, A Tale of Two Cities, although there may be some parallels there, one of the main themes being about social justice in that book. But actually, that was talking about two cities, London and Paris. In this case, we're talking about within Auckland. And they compared people living uh, in the eastern suburbs in the Orake area and Mission Bay and St Heliers, where incomes were up significantly, to those living in Māngari and Otahu, where incomes have actually fallen. So the net effect of that, according to the Salvation Army, is something like a 19% drop. From low-income people already, those people have got an even worse standard of living. That is all under this national government, and that is putting communities under significant stress. And I just want to think, reflect on the fact that in the Maunga Care Care electorate where I'm working, I can see those inequalities, and I am not the only one. If you think that New Zealanders are not seeing this, you are really wrong. Sorry, Mr Speaker, the government is very wrong on that matter. New Zealanders do see it, and there was the survey quoted earlier, where 75% of New Zealanders believe inequality is increasing. And of course, Bill English just said, well, it doesn't matter what they think, it's just not right. Well, actually, they see it with their own eyes. They see it in terms of family members struggling. They see it in terms of people unable to put food on the table. They see it in terms of their own children, unable to even contemplate buying a house. They see it with loan sharks proliferating all around the city of Auckland. 46% of workers saw no increase in their pay rate in the 12 months to March, and yet costs kept going up. That's something the government wants to try and deny, but those figures are correct. 46% saw no increase. We need to focus on jobs and we need to focus on lifting wages, and that will happen under a Labor government. Housing is the other big issue, home ownership plummeting, and that's most pr um, pronounced in Auckland. I just want to remind people about the Member of Parliament for Maunga Care Care, on the Honourable Peseta Sam Lotoenga, who said that there were 1,100 homes under 500,000 in Maunga Care Care, and that $130,000 as a deposit was not out of reach. Now, that's how out of touch the National Government is. Those figures are clearly not correct. Those assertions are not correct. Housing is a significant problem. We have senior citizens worried about being chucked out of their houses. I've talked to people with heart problems with cancer who are being ripped out of their housing New Zealand property as we speak. There is a shortage of housing throughout that electorate. Thank you.
Akanmal Singh Bakshi. Thank you.